but it's really for everyone who's ever raced here and won here because there's so many memories that have been made. I know Jeff, you, and, and Junior both have been able to win at this racetrack. Man, that's a goal when we mess up the decor, though. That match all the other places. <laughs> oh, so you turn it away? No. Okay. Kevin Harvick here in second place. Been able to keep this spot and create a little distance between him and Truex. I thought Truex might have been, might have been the strongest car on that very first run. But here, Harvick has improved his car, Jeff. Yeah, Kevin Harvick is really good. He was really happy with his car yesterday. Guys, I want to go through the field, and we'll start off with Denny Hamlin, who's up front. Dave. And Rick, though he's dominated today, they've got to be careful not to adjust that car out of its groove. So far in this run, it's been on the splitter, and according to the driver, pretty darn tight on the early laps here, Marty. Hey, Dave, the guy's talking about how good Kevin Harvick's car is. He said it has a ton of grip, but not like it did in practice yesterday. And you get the sense from these drivers, the urgency on these restarts, that impressive move around Martin Trek Jr. to get second. Speaking of Truex, he's sitting back there in third, so the car is now slipping on landing. How big was the first round of the playoffs for this team? They earned 12 playoff points and cut in to their teammate Kyle Busch's lead and maybe established themselves days as the championship favorite. That green car is Kyle Larson. He started second today. Wishes anybody but Denny Hamlin had beat him for the pole. Why? Because Larson told Hamlin not to adjust their tee time until he won the pole, that being Larson. Hamlin won the pole, and that was trying to hold.